Yo, what is up? It is Strix of here, and this is going to be my first video. This is going to be a tutorial on how to create YouTube video thumbnails, and the thumbnail that I'm creating in here is going to be my thumbnail for this video. So, all of this is using an online, basically like Photoshop editor, that I'm going to put in the link below. I'm going to put a link below in the description for you to check it out and use it if you aren't that good at Photoshop. This is really easy to pick up, like super easy. So let's get right into it. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to, it'll, what I, what I just did in the beginning, you need to create a new um, project and then you got to make sure it's 1280 by 720 and then change the background to transparent then this will pop up and now you need to either go get like a grunge wallpaper or a sunburst wallpaper those are the things that people use a lot just find one that you like really like between all of these and once you find yours you just wanna click on it and make sure that you save it and save it to somewhere that you're going to remember where you saved it to so I'm just gonna save it to my pictures folder right there and then you want to also go well now you want to go back and you want to just open and just select your image that we just downloaded then all you want to do is just on here you just want to press control A then you press control C then you want to go back over to this and you want to press control V to put it in there and now you have your background and normally people do put a um, a blur in the background it's it lo makes it look a lot more better in the long run so you just come up to filter and then you go to blur and you go to Gaussian blur and you just select how hard you want it so I'm just gonna go I don't want it that like that uh, I'm just gonna put it to 5 you can also just type in there what you want but yeah and now you have your blur and you can also like set it to other you can select um, uh, you can like change your um, somewhere there's the uh, brightness it you just look through it all and find what you want so I'm gonna I'm going to edit my backdrop to the way I want. I'll be back once I'm done. Alrighty, now that I have my stuff set to the way I want it, I just, all I did here was I just went to filter and I put in a pixelate in that one, but you can do whatever you want to make it customized. And now you just want to go to the text and you want to just change your color to whatever color you want. I'm going to go with white right now, and I'm going to change the size to about, I find one like be either between 100 or 150 so like really good so I'm just gonna put it at 125 right here and then you can come over here to this button right here and you can find like all of these different fonts and you also have previews of them so you know what you're about to put in and I'm going to select one I'm just going to select mm, this one right here. This one doesn't look that bad. I'll probably change it off camera, well, off the video right now. So, and then you just take it again, and you just click, and then you do like your words. And then once you want to move it, like if you put it in a bad position, you just want to move it in general. You just want to click this tool right here, and then drag it to the spot you want and I'm just going to put the rest of my text in and I'll be back once I have that alright so I got my the rest of my text in and I also changed like my font and all that and my sizes you just wanna make sure it all fits and I would highly advise just to make it look good to not like touch the ground or like any of the sides so kinda like leave a margin on the top bottom left right and just uh... just make it look better and now if you wanna like make your um 
thing look better you just right click on the layer over here these are your layers over here you just want to right click and what I usually use is I use a drop shadow and an inner glow and I just set the drop shadow always to black you can change like how dark it is so I'm going to just put that at 100 it looks really good at 100 and with the inner glow this one's always a bit interesting I can never like get this but I'm just going to put it red uh, yeah I see it never works uh, usually an outer glow would work but I just can't ever seem to get that to work either okay yeah it's working now I can see it alright so I'm just gonna make this text black actually just to make it like go into the backdrop a bit and then I just you just want to change it to how you want it alright so apparently black's not, black's not working so I'm just gonna go back up to red see there we go that's a lot more better you just click OK to save your changes and then you just wanna make sure that you have everything else on the other ones that you want so I'm gonna be back once I have that alright so like I was saying earlier you can you, you can hold down shift and just like drag it, the corners around for more smoother movement and then I just rotated mine so this is what it looks like and you just want to do is just click off of it or yeah just click off of it and then you have your thumbnail right here so now what you want to do is you don't need all these anymore so you can go ahead and close these but you just want to go to file you want to export as and make sure you save it as a PNG because that's only what it will register as on YouTube it'll probably make it bigger and it won't take it and just leave everything else the same and you click save and it's going to save to your pictures folder I believe so if you open up and you go to your pictures folder it should okay no it's going to be in your downloads so if you find it in your downloads right here and you just put it on your desktop somewhere or wherever you want it and yeah there you go alrighty so this video has been how to make a YouTube thumbnail for free if you like this video and this helped you out a lot make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the post notifications for more content check yourself out